Hello, this is Eileen, the Environmental Educator, and in this video, we're going to talk about um, something that was headlines this week. This is April 9th, 2022. Uh, Mattel releases its first carbon-neutral toys, including a Matchbox Tesla. Well, well, of course, you know, um, here's a good news network. It, it was covered a lot of places. If you do a search for it, it <laughs> Toy News Online, yeah, it was it was covered. A lot of places, um, and you know, more more pages after that. So um, it, it's pretty good news. You know, there's there's some stuff that's missing, um, but it's I I think maybe one of the best announcements that I've actually seen from a company about their um, policy because yeah, you know, I, I went to their website and they they talk about you know, just using it until it is no longer usable, and um, just you know these these sh and these should be usable forever, and, and pass them down if e your kids aren't using them anymore. You know, and with it being um, Earth Day this month, they have it's this is their banner. It it comes across. They're gonna. They have a, a an Earth Day gig going on this this um right here, right there. So if you click on that, uh, then you come to yeah, I love the planet. Let's celebrate Earth Month. You know they 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 do now right here. They they need to get rid of Greta now. In fairness to Mattel, right now they don't know that Greta is a preventing solutions fraud, but um. You know, oh, learn about the six environmental advocates who are leading the way. Um, Greta's not leading the way. There, there's videos out there I have. She's a preventing solutions fraud since Earth Day 2019, 2018, I don't know, a couple of years now. And um, uh, she's, she's just a fool. She has no solutions, won't allow solutions, or her handlers on her behalf. You know, I, I use the email but never has Greta replied to getting, you know, the world <laughs> on the solutions the world needs, which I, the environmental educator, have. And and Mattel is, uh, you know, a lot of what they write up in here is really to the same principles, like just use it until it breaks and make it so that it's usable forever. And, uh, you know, we'll go through a little bit. So, um, now right here, Sir David Attenborough, he's, he's a cheerleader. He lends his voice, you know, now he's part, um, with the Royals, the, uh, you know, Will and Kate's, um, uh, what do you call that? Oh, the, um, the Earthshot Prize. And, um, you know, he lends his voice and he's out there screaming for solutions. Now I've emailed the Earthshot Prize so many times and they won't allow real solutions. They won't allow real leadership. Now Greta, She's out there screaming for solutions, and Mattel is promoting her, but you will never, you've never, and you never will hear Greta talk about the things that Mattel talks about. You know, Greta, Greta's just a fraud. I mean, it's, um, but, you know, the, the thing about this page here is, you know, I mean, <laughs> this is, this is really cheesy. Parents don't even know anything about the environment. Let me tell you, the number one people that could care less about the environmental future and don't bother them anything about the environment, you know, outside of every environmental voice, is mothers. Okay? I've been at this 28 years, and I, I would never even dare bring up a conversation. I don't bring up this conversation with anybody because, you know, you want to have friends, okay? But mothers, <laughs> uh, they just let you know, like, they are not going to not be inconvenienced, okay? So don't even go there. They're busy. They love their kids. They love it to death. But uh, they're going to do what they want, and they don't want to learn. So, you know, great. The, the parents are going to talk to the kids. So, uh, you know, I, I'm going to approach Mattel. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens because we need to get the parents to change their act and their willingness to learn. And, you know, they, they have a, a few cool tips here. But um, 
you, you know, when you click on this, it's like, you know, t tell your kid that, um, oh, oh, it's this page right here. It's, um, that was the next one I had lined up, but, you know, it's like, and, and just, you know, tell your kid that the earth sits in an atmosphere, you know, with layers of gas, like parents don't even know that, nor do they care. And, and they would just be like regurgitating this. And if the kid asked a question, they'd be like, uh, I don't know. But if Mattel partnered up with me and started getting the environmental education, educator education to kids, we could get kids and parents, you know, educated. Okay. So, you know, there's, there's some good information here. It's, it's a little cheesy. It's, um, it's, it's, it's just feel good. It kind of with some actual, you know, good things that they, they truly are leading more than people, <laughs> more than other places. Uh, smart people are working very hard to tackle climate change, um, bursting with brilliant ideas how to make things better. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they really are preventing the solutions the world needs, you know, and, and we don't need to, you know, to have giant machines that suck carbon dioxide out of the air. We just need to stop emitting it. And, um, you know, people need to f follow kind of along the way that Mattel's going. Mattel actually, you know, needs to step up a little more. I'm going to ask him to. We'll see. But, you know, at least right here, you know, they tell their kids, you turn off the lights. Okay. You know, that's what I tell to people. Do, do you ever hear gorgeous t people? Is it so hard just to? No, never, never, never. And you never will because they're not interested in solutions, you know, right here, you know, well, you know, talk about walking or cycling or public transport. No family's getting on public transport. I mean, maybe the way prices are going, but, but, you know, get real. <laughs> maybe if you live in Vail and have the Vail bus route, but n not generally across the country, you know, or, you know, organize a car share. I mean, that's, that's kind of stupid. You know, this is okay. Grow your own food. We're all going to be doing that pretty soon. You know, buy less, waste less. <laughs> that's definitely good, you know, and, and take care of the things you already own, you know, better yet, buy second hand, you know, just give them a new life, keep them going. So, you know, they, they do have some um, good information out here. Now they need to keep this going year round. And I'm going to ask them like, Hey, let's really get people educated. But they have this, um, <clears throat> this playback program here where they take toys back to recycle them because they're, you know, driving towards a better future. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, you know, they, they kind of play on words here a little bit. But, um, you know, they want to empower kids to one day take the wheel and drive us to a better future. Our planet faces increased demands for natural resources and significant shifts in climate. By promoting green technologies and behaviors, an earth-friendly approach to how we build our toys. We're steering kids to a more sustainable future. Uh, you know, that that's true. We have to do that in every industry. You know, like when I asked Vale and then Big Sky, whose bread and butter is conferences at that hotel, especially in the summer, you know, the resorts up at the mountain, it's just conference after conference. I was like, if we lead, we can bring every industry, not just the ski industry here to lead the world, but, you know, we could have conferences year round, like, right, toy industries, their packaging of the makeup industry, I mean, which seriously, okay, just, just give it a rest. It, it, that is just so environmental abusive the packaging it, it the oh my god it, it's insanity you know the insurance industry every industry could be like in there but no would they lead no 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 but you know right here Mattel is doing better than anybody really that I've seen um you know they have a, a commitment to sustainability and um you, you know that they they show you how they embrace sustainability every uh, step of the way here, and they they really kind of pretty do. Well, they they do a, a lot. They at least they're thinking along the high level lines that we really need to be. You know, we are rethinking how we design we design our vehicles to support a more earth friendly future. Our vision is to make all our toys and packaging from 100% recycled 
recyclable or bio-based materials. Now, see, the thing here is we should be working to not have packaging. <laughs> okay, packaging is just abusive. Or why not have packaging that actually serves a second function? Like if if you buy a set of sheets, it <laughs> a lot of set of sheets come in this little pouch, like that can actually be reused for a lot of things. I reuse them, <laughs> you know. So um, we we need to get away from packaging and or make packaging reusable. So and, and what about hemp? I mean, I guess you could say maybe that's bio-based materials, but they never they never talk about hemp in any of their um, material here. You know, they talk about reusing plastics and using things that have been materials that have been recycled, but never just hemp. And they could really, you know, help lead the world with hemp. Um, and, you know, they, they do a lot of nifty wording, you know, if we're going to drive the kids, drive their future. And, you know, it, it regurgitates now, you know, um, right here, oh, this comes with a you know, an electric charging station, but something, you know, I, I've noticed when I was going through their website is that um, they they have toys that are electrical. So what's that being powered with? And, and why do we have to have toys that have electrical components in them? You know, it, it had a street. It's coming up here somewhere. It, it had a street and like it had a light, but I, I don't really know what was what was a you know a, an electrical part, but see that's just one step that toys took back from when you know they were just sound little environmental uh, toys, just basic. And then you know you added lights and you added lights that flashed, and you know it just kept taking step after step after step. So why why do we even need toys that have electronics in them? Right there, you you could cut them out instead of trying to make that better. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll see if Mattel talks to me. Um, you know, sustainable packaging, uh, our dedication to sustainability goes beyond our products and into some of our packaging as well, into some of our packaging keywords. You know, that's um, this, uh, which is, this can be seen in our power grab line which is the first Matchbox, pro Matchbox product to feature 100% plastic-free packaging. W why not have it be hemp? Why not have it be reusable? Why, you know, it's, it, we've got to do better, <laughs> okay? We, we, we've got to do better. Why have it at all? It just, or something reusable. To just separate the car, uh, you know, we we've got to we've got to do more thinking along that lines. Okay, you know, they have a blueprint for the future. Look at this. This this was not made from ninety nine percent recycled materials. They're tell they're Telsa Roadster. Okay, uh, recycled plastic, recycled zinc, stainless steel. Where's the hemp? It could just be one hundred percent hemp. Okay. We recycling isn't really responsible. Yeah, you know what? At least, you know, we're making this using plastic that was here to make something that, you know, th these matchbox toys, they, they really are very long lasting, you know, and um, <laughs> unlike most every other toy that's really, you know, a, a disposable item and, and doesn't last forever. Um, but But no mention of hemp. Just recycled plastic. We, you know, we've got to um, really, really step up to the plate. It's um, and then they do this buyback program. They have um, they 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 take your toys back. Okay, you know, we believe that um, play should not have a shelf life or be tossed away. We design toys to be loved, cherished, and passed on from one generation to the next. And we aim to make them from materials that can live on in new products and in new ways. So, you know, that's really good. And their toys really do last, you know. So they, they send you, um, you know, you pick the toys that you want to return. They don't do electric ones. They're just really kind of starting this program. They send you a label. You put them in the in the box and, and you send them back. And, um 
Yeah, they have some frequently asked questions here. And, and the thing about this is, is that they talk a lot about recycling. And then it's at the end here that at one point they say, Mattel is a take back program which focuses on trying to reuse materials found in our toys. But that is a lot different from uh, up here a lot. It, it talks about recycling. So even when I first read some of this, I was like, when, when they say recycling, you know, how do I send them back for recycling? Do they mean that they're actually, because people do this wrong all the time and, and I correct them. And I'll be like, you didn't recycle that. You just reused it for something else. That's not recycling. Recycling is when it goes through a whole new manufacturing process and then becomes something else. But if you just have a product that you were going to throw away, but you gave it to a different purpose and it's being used in a different way, it's just being used. It's being reused. It's not being recycled. It's not going through a manufacturing process. So, you know, the, um, you know, right here, they say the Mattel, um, and this is the start of it, uh, playback is your chance to take full fun, full circle by keeping outgrown, unusable, and worn out toys out of landfills. Rather than throwing out toys when you and your children are done with them, send them to us and we'll recycle them. And so in, throughout here, they talk about recycling until at the end, then they say they reuse the parts, as in they take parts and reuse them in different ways. So I'm not really clear, but whatever they're doing, as I say, it's more than most, and we really should be reusing things well before we ever recycle them. But Mattel is really talking about things you can read through this you know i don't want to take up too much of your time people i try to respect it but you can read through you know this stuff here if you want to take a look at it but i will tell you miss mattel can and i'm gonna uh get in touch with them um they they really can step up a lot more but from what i can see I was actually like, wow, you know, they're the only people that are actually talking about long term. Like, keep, we want to make a product that is used for generations and, and can be passed down and, and, and it's made, you know, responsibly. And we're looking for ways to cut our resources that we use and the energy that we use and, you know, the emissions, which isn't just, you know, greenhouse gas emissions. There's, these are plastics. These are paints. There's toxic. There's lots of things that are involved with this, but you know what, if it was all hemp based, we wouldn't have to worry about all of that. So I'm going to get in touch with Mattel and, um, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I, you know, I've been, asked a lot of people a lot of years and they may just go well we're doing great by yourself and you know but you could really step up to the plate but you never know somebody's gonna give the environmental educator um it's break today i got an email that um linkedin i don't know somebody a long time ago was like you gotta get on there you know and i don't do anything with it my name is out there but like i don't know every so often they send me a thing like you're getting noticed, you know, and it was, it was an HR firm for ships, even like big ships, <laughs> like, like even maybe yachts, you know, that, um, was looking me up. So you never know where somebody's going to actually take the lead and really step up and maybe it will be Mattel. I will ask them, but Right now, from what I can see, I'm actually, you know, pretty impressed with Mattel in that they at least are working on concepts that other companies aren't even talking about. And the environmental educator has been trying to get people to act to since November 93. So let's hope they step up a little more. Stay tuned, people.